Uh, hello, MET240 students. I'm about to show you how I would create uh, the part number five from homework five, which is angle support. And this is Dr. Yovanovich. So first I will copy paste this. And uh, when you see this image, what I would do, I will create one uh, circle with radius five or diameter one. And then I will extrude that circle. Later I will create one um, rectangular shape with 0 0.2 and then 1.5 plus here what I have is uh, 3.75 and then later I will extrude that rectangular shape and I will create another rectangular shape extrude that one here and later I can uh, create a hole then another rectangular shape here another hole another hole another hole and here I can remove uh, something from these two sides of this part so I'll go to Inventor, close the previous part I did, and then create new. And also it will be in inches, so I'll go save as. So the last one is angle support. And I'll start by creating the two-dimensional sketch. Now I would like to use this plane and I'll create a circle, in the one in the middle and that circle should be here, I have a radius but that's diameter 1. I'll finish this and I'll extrude this to symmetrically. So say extrude and I like to use this option symmetric and I will extrude that by 0 0.75 like this. And now I would like, like again to use this uh, approach where you don't use existing planes here to attach different things. So I would like to create two-dimensional sketch again in the YZ plane so it's not attached to the existing thing that I have here. And I'll create one line from the origin like this make it construction line and then I like to create one rectangular shape and I like to have rectangular shape symmetric so I would say these two will be symmetrical about this one and then I have this dimension which is 0 0.2 oh it's, been, now it's too small let me change another one just to make sure it's outside okay here that one should be 1.75 and then I will add here you see 1.75 and I will add this radius of 0.375 to have the overall dimension plus 0.375 like this and now I would like to make sure that the distance from this line to the center is zero and this should be 0 0.2 so this is what I'm extruding like um, somehow it went to the wrong plane home so I'll create the same thing but on, on the other one so I'll go here sketch edit sketch like this and I might try to use this rotate and se select everything center point I can put the pre precise input zero zero hit enter this and then add here angle of 90 degrees or maybe 270 just to have it here done so you see I want to keep my let's see if I finish the sketch will that be the right side yes now it's the right side and let's see what do I need to do to fully constrain it? I can go here to view and change this to wireframe and then I can see what's going on. So let's see, probably this yeah, it gets somehow moved so I'll need to go to sketch and create another line going from the center which would be my construction line and I'll delete the one I just had there and I would say that I would like these two to be symmetrical in relation to this one escape 
Uh -huh, and I need to make this one. No, I don't want horizontal. So I, well, I'll try vertical. Oh, it looked horizontal. I was flipping this around, and then it had that kind of view. So view a shady healing edges like this. And now I would like to use 3D model extrude, and I would like to make this symmetric. And I can say through selected face point. So now through this, and it will ask me to another one. between two faces. Okay, so one and the other. Let's see how it works. Yeah, so you see now I used another one between two faces and planes and I selected these two that I had. So this is what I have and now I can add I can maybe remove here, you see this should be 0 0.10 so I would need to remove 0 0.10 above and 0 0.10 below and I have this 1.5 so I'll go uh, create two dimensional sketch and I'll again use the plane not existing surfaces that I have and now I can I can create a rectangle a shape somewhere here And I can make another rectangular shape somewhere there. And then I'll create a line going from there. And this line will be my construction line. And I like to have these two symmetrical above my construction line. And I like to have them equal. So I use here equal these two. And I can use that these two are in the same line, this one and this one. And again, I can use that this one is equal to this one as well. So you see, I arrange them a little bit. And I can say now that my dimension from here to there is 1.5. And the distance in between them should be 0 0.1. And I can make this bigger, it really doesn't matter. It ha just has to be bigger than this part. So you see, now it's even bigger, but I don't want to attach this to the existing one. Now they're separate cuts. So just I can just leave it like this for a while. And this is not really important to mention, but I can put something there as well. So because I didn't attach it to, to, to the existing one. And I'll just say finish. And now I'll say extrude. And I'll select these two that I just made. And now I can again say here cut. And I can use between two places. Two faces. So one and the other. And then if I go to home, let's see what I have. It looks like this. And now I can add, you see here I have this radius of uh, 0 0.375. So I'll go there and I'll use fillet 0 0.375. And now I'd like to have it here. And it shift if I turn around this here as well. So you see in this way I made the, the fillet there. And now I will put a hole, they have a hole of 0 0.25 through all. So I'll go create hole and then use concentric. This is the plane and concentric reference is this and then uh, it's 0 0.25. Okay and then I can create another line, another hole, this one. So you see it's 0 0.5 from this one and it's somewhere in the middle, so 0 0.25, so it's on that plane. So let's see if I can do that with the hole option. If not, I'll just create a circle and extrude that. So let's see, hole, linear, face, this one. And the first one is from here by 0 0.5. Well, again, enter. So right click, edit feature, remember, don't press enter. And the other one, let's see what options I have. I can say from here, and it was 0 0.75 divided by 2. 
pen can I didn't say it right and then right click edit feature and let's see this one should be 0 0.25 okay so it's good so I made these two and I can create the one in the middle okay I'll do that later after I do this so you see here I have 1.75 and again this is 20 but what I could actually do I could have Where's this extrusion? You see, extrusion. I can maybe try to use the circular pattern and just copy this. See, let's see if I have the angle here. I don't know. Yeah, the, I have angle 30 here. So it means that 30 plus 180 will be 210. Let's see if it will work. So, what if I say that I like to use this one that I made and I like to use the circular pattern? So, the feature. The feature will be which one was that? Let me let me so uh -huh. extrusion two. Okay, so circular feature extrusion two, and then my rotation axis would be defined by this cylindrical surface like this, and I need to have only one, two. And the angle will be 210. Let's see if it, yeah. So you see, like it's 180 plus 30. So that would give me the, this angle 30. Like this. And now I would like to create this hole, which is R20. And I have 0 0.5, and it's in the middle, I think, like this. 75. So let's go whole uh, face will be here and then I have reference from this plane by 0 0.5 and then I have reference from the other plane by 0 0.75 divided by 2 and then I would like to create here it's 0 0.R 0 0.20 which means that's um, 0 0.4 and all I have left is just one hole here and then one rectangular shape there. So let's create a hole first. Hole, and here I need concentric somewhere here. And then concentric reference is this one, and the hole should be 0 0.75. And then here one rectangular shape, so I'll go create to the to the sketch here. And all I need is rectangular shape. But before I create it, I can create one line that will help me arrange this rectangular shape. So I'll create this to be construction. And here I'll just make one rectangular shape. Maybe if I put this to be normal one later, I can make a construction. So symmetrical, this one, this one, and then symmetrical. And then I can I can move this back to be construction. And then let me dimension this. What what do I have? I have here. Five, no, it's not four. Oh, I can use five and ten in the middle. So let's see if it will work. Ten. Oh, it's too much. It's not zero point zero point one. And the other one. I can make this one to be maybe 0 0.5, just to go to the middle, and that's it. Finish, and then I'll use the extrude option, of what I just did. So this sketch. And I'll select here, cut through all, and hit enter. And that's my part. So you see if I put finish and I can go change visual style shaded edges. I can save it. I can go export PDF. Make sure I save it. And that's all you need to do in this part.